Hello, my name is Alex with List Projects, and I'm going to show you a little bit about how Placebook works and how to get started immediately. So, just open Placebook, and now you'll see a screen that looks somewhat like this. In order to add a new location, what you need to do is press Edit, and then press the plus sign at the top left of the application. A new location will be added. Just click on the location in order to view it. You can edit all the information you need to about this new place. I'm going to call it Bookstore. And I'm going to say it's in Chestnut Hill. From here, I can also edit different fields. I can add a picture by either pressing on this, or I can press here and press Take a Photo or Select from Album. I can also email the place or I can view it in Google Maps. A very useful feature is set the current location. When you press it, it'll use the current location in order to set it. Another feature about Placebook is that you can edit the longitude and the latitude manually. When you email a location in Placebook, it sends all of this information. The information that you send is interoperable with either an iPhone user or a user with a desktop computer or a user with a Blackberry or another internet capable device such as a Google Android. When you send an email with Placebook, what happens is it makes a Placebook link and it makes a Google Maps link for each place that you select. So for example, in order to email several places, I can press this notepad button on the bottom left while viewing the main screen, and then press, press some, select some to email. The rows that I select after hitting emails, these will be added to an email. Alternatively, I can just press email all, which will take every item in a specified view and put it into an email. Another important feature about Placebook is the groups features. When I hit this book on the top left, I can select my current group. The current group can send emails from it, but you can't add new groups directly. You cannot add new items directly to a group. You have to go back to all locations. In order to edit settings, you need to make sure that you have all locations set, and then press edit, and then settings. You can modify this information to suit your needs. Automatically add photos enabled means that any pictures that you take of an iPhone will be automatically added to your iPhone's camera roll. When you navigate away, your settings are saved. In order to send an item to a new group, just press on its respective row, then press Edit and click on it the new category. Then you can just press the category that you want to set it to, or you can add a new category for it. The item will show up in its respective category. In order to move around the items on the screen, all you need to do is press Edit, then grab its disclosure, and then move it. So, this is pretty much the basics of Placebook. We really hope that you found this video quite informative, and that this will help educate you in whether you want to purchase Placebook, or if you already have, that it will help you have a better experience. Also, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to email at us at either support at listprojects.com or feedback at listprojects.com. Thank you very much for watching this video.